in this video we will learn how to measure dc voltage using cro cro means cathode ray oscilloscope here dc dc means direct current another thing we have ac ac means alternating current in dc direction of current is not changing current flows from positive towards negative in one direction only direction of current is fixed if we have regulated power supply then graph of voltage versus time will be as shown in the picture objective of this experiment is to measure dc voltage using cro in this we need cro dc power supply voltmeter or multimeter and some wires in this experiment we will learn three things first we will learn how to set up cro then how to take readings and after that we will learn the calculation of dc voltage using formula you have to set up your cro first so we will start with that thing first set up cro you have to check all the commands here right before switching it on before switching this power we have to check other things first first you have to start with this intensity in the starting this intensity should be maximum rotate this on maximum position means clockwise right then this y gain y gain must be on a gain maximum 5 volt per division you can rotate this here but it should be on leftmost position time base where is the time base this button is the time base rotate this time base to minimum position in micro here point 1 you have to adjust here now another very important thing if you are using this channel 1 it should be on channel 1 y shift should be in the middle i mean to say mean position similarly for this x also in the mean position right now change this where button these two buttons are very important if you are connecting wire here that means if we are using channel 1 that means we are interested in channel 1 and also we are using this time base so for this two this where button we are should be in maximum position and whenever you start any experiment of CRO push this ground switch push in that means it should be grounded now today our experiment is DC voltage measurement so it must be on DC there are two options AC and DC pictures are given you can understand what to do if it is pushed up that means it's for AC if it is pushed down that means it's for dc so here for today's experiment it must be on dc right also you have to check this but trigger it must be on auto okay after adjusting all these things you can switch on this power button not before that okay there will be a line or dot on the screen if time base is on you will find a line on this on the screen if time base is off this button is time base or off or on button if you press this there will be a dot now here you have to check this focus and intensity okay here if this line is not focused like this you have to adjust this focus button don't forget to do this also okay also intensity we have adjusted in the starting it's in maximum position right adjust this intensity at optimum level not maximum not minimum if it is maximum it can damage the screen it can affect your eyes also so you have to adjust this properly okay after finishing this we can connect the circuit for DC voltage measurement or AC voltage measurement. Now we will connect 
circuit for DC voltage measure. Okay, we have set up this CRO. Now we will connect the circuit. Circuit is very simple for that. Okay, the circuit is given in your handout also. But the connections are very simple. We have to connect first power supply with CR. We will connect this uh, voltmeter also, but first we will connect a power supply. How to connect power supply? We have to connect power supply positive with positive and negative with negative of the CR. Here in CRO, this red terminal is positive, black is negative. So I will connect red wire with red, black with black. Okay. And here also, we have to check the, there are four terminals. These two terminals are for AC and these two are for DC. Okay. In this experiment, we are going to measure what? DC. So we will connect this with DC. Right. Again, positive with positive and negative with negative. So, CRO is now connected with this power supply. Now we will connect this multimeter to measure voltage. Right? In multimeter, always one wire is connected with COM. This one is common, black wire. So, we will connect a wire, black wire, with this COM. Another wire. Okay. We have to connect positive wire with red. But there are three red terminals. This, this and this. We have to check. Where to connect this red? Here it is written F. Here milliampere. And this side is written hertz, volt and ohm. We are going to measure voltage. So we have to connect this here. Right? Also, we are measuring DC voltage, not AC. So here you have to check where is AC and where is DC. This symbol is for AC. This one is for DC. So we will adjust this on this side. These numbers represent the range, range of voltmeter. Right? In today's experiment, we will take maximum around 10 volt. We are not going to take 100 volt or like that. So this 20 volt is enough. This range is enough. So we will select the range here, 20 volt. Now, we can connect this wire with the CRO or we can connect this with power supply. But again, positive with positive, negative with negative. I will connect red wire with red means positive with positive, negative with negative. Here. Okay. So connections are done. Now we will start our experiment. Okay. What is our experiment? We will measure the voltage. How? First, we will take different voltage from the power supply here. Okay. And we will measure that voltage using CR. We can start with any voltage. I am going to take voltage here, suppose 5 volt or 6 volt. Right. I will switch on this power supply. I will take 5 volt here. So now in the multimeter, it's 5. Okay. Now we will try to measure this voltage using CRO. Right. But now, this power supply is connected. We are giving 5 volt. But still, the line in that CRO is not moving. You know why? The simple thing, ground switch is pressed. If ground switch is pressed, that means the CRO is not connected with external source. I mean to say with power supply. It will not affect. It's grounded. That means zero. Right? So this line represents zero line. I can adjust this zero line anywhere. Okay. If you want to start your graph from the middle, you can adjust this zero line in the middle. That means for us now, this line is reference line or we can call it a zero line. Okay, but it's not necessary to start from that point. You can start from here or here or here. So if you change this, it will come here or here or here. Okay, so this one is my zero line. Right, for DC voltage measurement, you can start from this position. So you will have more space to use. In AC voltage measurement, you cannot do this. In AC voltage measurement, always zero line should be in the middle. 
because in AC we have negative and positive signals both okay here we have connected positive with positive that means this line will move only upwards so we can start from any point now if you release that ground this line will jump to another position according to your voltage okay we have learned that in theory there are two plates for the deflection okay the two plates are responsible for deflection of electrons inside that and because of that this line or this stress will jump up right so if you release that ground it will jump up but before that you have to adjust y gain right we have taken 5 volt here from this power supply we have taken 5 volt and here also it's at the maximum that means 5 volt so what will happen what does it mean this is 5 volt per division that means one box equals 5 okay so i will select two or one here that means here voltage gain is one that means value of one box here is one volt per division now if i release this ground it will jump up look it's going up by five divisions it's going up by five divisions look this one is zero right if i release this it's going here so you can count like this this one is our zero so one two three four and five okay now this is your y division okay it will jump by five divisions if you change this y gain this will be changed if i take two and now if i release it's not going up by five divisions now look at this this is zero line one two after that you can count this thing small division one small division is point two so it's 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and it's between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 so we can take 2.5 okay so I am taking now this 2 now I'll show you how to calculate this value okay I'll show you now now we will write our readings in observation table okay first thing what is that DC voltage from power supply or DMM what we have taken in power supply DMM means nothing but uh, digital multimeter. So our reading is 5 volt. We have taken here 5 volt. You can see we have taken 5 volt. Right. So here we will write 5 volt. So our reading is 5. So here we will write 5 volt. Now Y division y division that means reading from the screen screen of cr what was our reading our reading on the screen is 2.5 right if it is grounded it will be zero it is up by 2.5 this one is zero now so 1 2 and 2.5 we have taken this reading so here we will write 2.5 now y gain y gain this is the value from CRO again, but not from the screen. This value is from here. This value. What do we have chosen? 2. Sometimes this value will be given. Okay, I am talking about final exam. If it is given, you have to take that particular value. If it is given 1, you have to take 1 volt per division. If it is given 2, you have to take 2. Okay, or 5, whatever it is. But now we have chosen what? 2. So, why gain is 2 y gain is 2 volt per division so here we will write 2 volt per division in this value so this is our y gain 2 so now what will be the dc voltage from cro the formula is very simple y division multiply by y gain y division multiply by y gain this multiply by this so 2.5 multiply by 2 so your value is 2.5 multiplied by 2 that is 5 volt right don't forget to write unit here also you have to write 5 volt here also 5 volt or here you can write volt like this here unit is given volt per division y gain y division there is no unit it's just a number 
now you can repeat this for two or three different values okay in final this values will be given it will be 3 volt or 5 volt or 7 okay after that you have to draw time base off and time base on screen okay what is time base off in time base off there will be a dot what we have taken here i'll show you on the screen again with time base off and time base on now this is time base on you can see a line but if time base is off there will be a dot adjust this dot here if it is grounded it will be on zero this is my zero line okay but here now intensity is very high so reduce this intensity adjust this exactly at one line on y axis now it is released it will jump up by 2.5 same ready okay and if time base is on there will be a line same reading same value will come okay but you have to show this two readings to teacher in final hello so you have to draw time base off and time base on screen okay so this is all for your dc voltage measurement experiment hope you understand this experiment thank you